I hope you are drinking your water and staying hydrated because that is very important. Stay hydrated, guys. Bring around the rosy, pockets full like OD. I can't move just how I move because don't nobody know me. Low key, still do more numbers than you say. You can hate, but you can say that I've been missing. Hey, guys, Harsh here, and welcome back to Technolobe. This is the Nothing Phone 1. Now, I have been using this smartphone as my daily phone for the past week or so, and it's an incredible smartphone. I already made my impressions video about it. If you haven't watched that yet, then I would highly recommend you to do so. I will drop a link to it in the description box below. The main thing with Nothing Phone 1 is the experience. This smartphone offers a great experience. But one place where it slightly lags behind is in terms of the cameras. The cameras are good, but they can be better. And the best way to make them better is by installing Google camera. So naturally, after I started using this phone, I tried a couple of Gcams, then I tried a couple of more and finally landed on this one. This Gcam right now works really well with the Nothing Phone 1. And if you own the Nothing Phone 1, you can definitely improve its photography capabilities by installing Gcam. So yeah, this is Google camera for the Nothing Phone 1. First up, let's go ahead and compare images from stock camera application and Google camera. Right off the bat, you can see that there are some differences. First difference is in terms of white balance. Photos from the stock camera application are on the cool side, whereas Gcam produces very good results in terms of white balance. Google camera photos are more true to life and the white balance is definitely better from Gcam. I don't know why but the stock camera application keeps producing cooler images as compared to the actual scenario. The second difference is in terms of sharpness and detail level. Gcam photos are sharper and have more detail in them. So if you like to edit your photos in Lightroom or something like that, then Gcam photos will be better because they have more detail in them and the photos are sharper as well. Now one great thing over here is that stock camera application is producing natural colors which are similar to Gcam. So in terms of color, both of these applications are doing a very good job. Now one of the major differences here is with the ultra wide angle camera. Ultra wide angle camera photos are definitely better from Gcam. First difference again is in terms of white balance. White balance is way better from Gcam and the stock camera application produces very bad images when it comes to white balance. I don't know why with the stock camera ultra wide angle photos have a green tint in them whereas with Gcam you get very good white balance for ultra wide angle camera as well. Also ultra wide angle photos are more detailed from Gcam. Basically you get better ultra wide angle photos from Gcam and if you shoot a lot of them then you should use Google camera on your nothing phone one. This gets me to artificial and low lighting conditions. Here's where things get a little interesting. Sometimes Nothing Phone 1 clicks better photos and sometimes Google camera clicks better photos. So it's good to see that Nothing has done a decent job in terms of artificial and low lighting conditions. But with that being said, I will still say that night sight is better as compared to night mode on the stock camera application. Night sight produces brighter images, the colors are better and the photos are detailed as well. So basically you can use either of these applications for low light shots. Now what about portrait mode? For portrait mode, Gcam is better, the edge detection is better and so is the background blur. I would say portrait photos look more pleasing to the eye from Gcam. So those were the rare cameras. What about them selfies? For selfies, again, Gcam is better. I always like selfies from Gcam because for some reason, stock camera application overexposes the selfies and also they are soft as compared to Gcam. Now you guys let me know which selfies do you prefer in the comment section down below. Now you guys might be wondering what about video recording? With the rare camera, you can shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS with Google camera. Yes, video recording is working and that is a very good thing. Now this is a very quick front camera video test with the Nothing Phone 1 and Google camera. You guys let me know about the audio quality as well as video quality from Google camera in the comment section down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Whatever it is, please let me know about that in the comments down below. Alright, now let's do a live comparison. I'm quickly going to snap two photos of the camera over here. I'm going to use the 2x mode and let's see which application captures a better photo. I'm going to turn on the screen recording as well. Let's go. Alright, first up, let's go with the stock camera application 2x shoot and then I'm going to go to Google camera 2x and shoot time to compare the images so you can clearly see over here that Google camera has shot a better image the dynamic range is better the camera is exposed better and even the details are better from Gcam so yeah here is a live comparison for you that Google camera is shooting better photos so now you know that Google camera is like a free upgrade to your photography experience the main question that comes in is how to install Gcam on your Nothing Phone 1. Well, it's very simple. In fact, it is too simple. Just go to the link in the description box below, download the APK file and just install it. Now make sure to download the 
snap cam file you will find a bunch of files but download snap cam because that will give you the best results download it install it and you will be good to go you can start shooting some awesome photos with gcam on your nothing phone one also very quickly this video is brought to you by the dot company the dot company is our own brand we make some high quality stuff for example this minimalist high quality wallet over here it can hold up to six cards and you can store some cash as well it's a very minimalist and affordable wallet costs only 249 rupees you can go ahead and order it and as a bonus to all of you guys you can avail free shipping by using the code technolope so yeah go ahead and check out dot company by clicking the link in the description box below so anyway that's been it this was google camera for the nothing phone one do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below if you like this content go ahead that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it will mean the world to me my name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.